Proverbs 21 A horse is prepared for the day of battle, but victory comes from the Lord. David and Goliath First Samuel 17 Now the Philistines gathered their armies for battle. The Philistines stood on the mountain on one side, while Israel stood on the mountain on the other side, with the valley between them. Then a champion came out from the armies of the Philistines named Goliath from Gath, whose height was six cubits, about nine feet, and a span. He stood and shouted to the ranks of Israel and said to them, Why do you come out to draw up in battle array? Am I not the Philistine and you servants of Saul? Choose a man for yourselves and let him come down to me. Now, David was the son of the Ephrathite of Bethlehem in Judah, whose name was Jesse, and he had eight sons. David was the youngest. Now the three oldest followed Saul. But David went back and forth from Saul to tend his father's flock at Bethlehem. The Philistine came forward morning and evening for 40 days and took his stand. Then Jesse said to David his son, Take this half bushel of roasted grain and these ten loaves of bread and run to the camp to your brothers. Bring also these ten cuts of cheese to the commander of their thousand and look into the welfare of your brothers and bring back news of them. So, David arose early in the morning and left the flock with a keeper and took the supplies and went. Then David ran to the battle line and entered in order to greet his brothers. As David was talking with them, behold, the champion, the Philistine from Gath named Goliath, was coming up from the army of the Philistines, and he spoke his usual words, and David heard them. Goliath said, I defy the ranks of Israel today. Send me a man so we can fight each other. When Saul and all Israel heard these words from the Philistine, they lost their courage and were terrified. Then David spoke to the men who were standing by him, saying, What will be done for the man who kills this Philistine and takes away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should taunt the armies of the living God? David said to Saul, Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, since he has taunted the armies of the living God.
And David said, The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and may the Lord be with you. David took his staff in his hand and chose five smooth stones from the brook and put them in the pouch in his shepherd's bag. Then, with his sling in his hand, he approached the Philistine. The Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, a spear, and a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have taunted. Today the Lord will deliver you into my hands, and I will strike you down and cut off your head, so that all the world will know that there is a God in Israel, and that this whole assembly will know that it is not by sword or by spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. David put his hand into his bag and took from it a stone and slung it and struck the Philistine on his forehead. And the stone sank into his forehead, so that he fell on his face to the ground. David defeated the Philistine with a sling and a stone, and he struck the Philistine and killed him. But there was no sword in David's hand. Then David ran and stood over the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of its sheath, and killed him, and cut off his head with it. David took the Philistine's head and brought it to Jerusalem, but he put Goliath's weapons in his own tent.